near you when you're praying. And uh, I also have a testimony. Remember last Sunday we were praying, we, pray, we made a deliberate choice to pray for Ukraine, isn't it? Yes. yes. And, uh, yeah. and, but okay, though, though our prayer was like focused on Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, because I personally was of the conviction that Zelensky has the power to stop the war in, in Ukraine, if only he makes the wise choice. And the wise choice in this case was just for him to say, uh, Ukraine is going to be a neutral state. We're not going to join NATO and all that. Because that's all um, Russia was sort of like asking, isn't it? And guess what? On Monday, on the Monday, like the day after we prayed on a Sunday, guess what? Guess what the news were saying? The news were saying um, Zelensky is considering uh, telling uh, Russia that he's no longer joining. NATO. And guess what? Exactly what we yes. prayed on the Sunday. Uh, yeah. What we prayed on the Sunday. Obviously, if we, if people are praying for uh, Ukraine and Russia, obviously we're praying to say, you know, uh, Putin should stop the war in in Ukraine, isn't it? But we know the kind of man that he is. I mean, he's a uh, he's, he's he's not reasoning. He's not thinking. <laughs> and but the other person actually has the power to stop this, you know, uh, this carnage that was happening in in Ukraine. And just, just last night, I was just listening to, to, um, to this <coughs> news online and they were saying there is a, there's now a potential that, um, that Putin and Zelensky are actually going to have a meeting and a treat has been, you know, has been drafted which they are both in agreement to. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? He is a God who answers prayers. And, and, and I, know, I know what I said last Sunday was a bit unorthodox, isn't it? It wasn't like really something a lot of people would sort of agree with. To some extent, I would sound like a Russian operative, isn't it? <laughs> I would definitely, I probably sounded like a Russian operative, but obviously um, I don't have any dollar to my name, so that's evidence that I am not one of the oligarchs. <laughs> and I'm not trying to save my yacht. <laughs> But it was just common sense. It was just common sense to say, no, Ukraine has the power to stop this war. And the only thing they have to declare is neutrality. And then they save lives in their country. As opposed to thinking that America is going to come in and help. Because America has its own different agenda, which is to destroy Russia, which has nothing to do with developing Ukraine. People just don't know how wicked Americans are. And I know I sound like one of them. So you're like wondering, Pastor Stan, what's going on? You sound just like one of them. <laughs> and you're telling us that they are wicked. But uh, from the looks of things, they, they just want to destroy anything that is in their path for their own personal gain. And they're not interested in anybody's well-being. It would be dumb for Ukrainians to think that Americans love them. They're not interested in them. So, but anyway, we thank God for what's happening right now. They, I, I pray that this 